hi there, my lovely Geminis. Now, I had a reading for you, and it didn't work out, so you're getting a special one. That means that uh, there's a reason why there's going to be a message in here, okay? I want to thank you for joining me here today at School for the Fool, and uh, if this message resonates with you, let me know. Well, that message is half the deck, so it's going to resonate with a lot of people. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Your energy must be electric or going two ways. I am a Piscean. I know all about being of opposite directions sometimes. Judgment. We've got judgment. Oh, wow. I see a connection to the angels here. And like a song, a connection to song, to music, something to music. And something connected to music is literally helping you um, detach from the darkness. And it's literally raising your vibration. Wow, that's gorgeous energy. In the, and the angels are helping. Yeah. Something to do with music. Okay. Two of Swords and that, when the cards just went flying, this was the one card that was over, that I flipped over. So, Two of Swords. You have to make a decision, a path, speaking of going two ways. But it's not with your eyes, it's your intuition. You have to connect to, to Source, to I feel like like cosmic energy is like with with your third eye balance of dark and light I really feel like the Sun and moon's presence we have the hanging man I feel like you're tripped up like you're like losing your back like you throwing out your back you're feeling so without like you don't want to you don't want to make a choice but you're going to because this hurts. Like this, like whatever you're going without, it's time. Like it's definitely time. You know, like you have to go without here. You have to make a choice. But it causes so much pain. You're just going to bounce back and you're just going to make the choice. Because look, here's the two of cups. Now we have equality. We have love. Balance, masculine and feminine. You know, and this can very well be union within. Restoration, restorative, the masculine and feminine energies are literally like, I actually feel like even finding love. But love for self is definitely present here with the chariot. And balance, balance of the masculine and feminine because we know what we are what we're vibrating within, we attract back to us, okay? But remember to manifest all takes time, okay? But yeah, this is definitely crown chakra and it, it allows you to let more of the light in and it has something to do with the full moon, this full moon in Virgo. Eight of Swords. This is how you are feeling. That's what I mean. It's like, you're just gonna get so caught up in this web, it's web, you're gonna feel like you're breaking your back. So you're just gonna do the work to get out. And it's gonna be more than the moon energies that are helping you. 
like the whole I really feel the connection to to the cosmos now let's feel I mean let's clarify we're just gonna get the cards out this is a very special deck and then we're gonna clarify it and we will get a activation no. No. Okay. All right. There we go. That's what I was looking for. As in everyone's in a rush. Let's just clarify it all at once. Okay. Here we go. Clarification. I love it. Now, with judgment, we have the High Priestess, Angel of Power. Remember, there is power in this transformation. There is power in the darkness and being lifted from it. If you're finding discomfort, remember, there is your hidden knowledge within the scroll. That's why she's holding the scroll, right? And it's connected to the moon. Now here... With the Two of Swords, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Angel of Destiny. And I love how now she has one sword. It's day, she can see, she's picked a path. The wheel turns. There's definitely knowledge applied here. The stars are present. Now, we have the Hanging Man with the Eight of Wands, Journeys journeys this is about your journey okay your spiritual quest within now we have two of cups and the sun angel of happiness what a beautiful transformation on the horizon here or you're in the midst of doing this now we have the chariot here we have the five of cups we have a sadness and that is what, why you don't want to move forward. But we know that that's okay because with the Eight of Swords here, Temperance is here with the Angel of Peace to help you temper. Okay? And then there's a healing taking place. A healing now, okay? And then it's just right back up into the Emperor energy. raising vibration with the help. You got a lot of help here. Now, let's see what's being activated. I really feel like that's the card. Just was zinging at me. Ooh, ooh warrior woman. If you weren't afraid, what would you do? And look at that sword. Look at the sword. Come on warrior woman one sword and one sword in the hand there and it's one freaking big sword if you weren't afraid what would you do what are you being called to do or face that requires courage if you weren't afraid what would you do Living a heart and soul led li living a heart and soul led life is not all fluffy and smooth sailing. Living a heart and soul led life requires courage to jump over fear. So often our fears are the gatekeepers to our greatest gifts, and the more resistance we have toward answering a call, the more important it is to our soul's growth. Sometimes fear is an indication that we are facing the right way. Joan of Arc was known for her courage and her famous line, I'm not afraid I was born to do this. But the thing about courage is that it is not possible without fear. So if you are feeling afraid, what is needed is courage, and courage comes from living from the heart. Think of your fears as opportunities to expand, rather than things that are holding you hostage. If you look at your fears in the light then, as uncomfortable as it might feel, it is actually a sign that you are on the right track. Work your light inquiry. If you were not afraid, what would you do? And that's why your first reading didn't take because this reading is 
magical and you needed to hear this message. So thank you for joining me here today at School for the Fool. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Until next time.